Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, can I analyze the case of Tiffany Henyard? Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing anybody in this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. If you enjoy this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and consider supporting me on Patreon. I will put the link to Patreon in the description for this video. First, I'll look at the background of this case, move to the timeline of the controversy, then offer my analysis. Tiffany Henyard was born in June 1983 and grew up in Dalton, Illinois. This village, which has a population of about 20,000 people, is about a half hour south of Chicago. After graduating from high school, Tiffany went on to earn a bachelor's degree in business administration. At some point, she had a daughter named Justice. Tiffany served as a village trustee for eight years. In February of 2021, she was elected mayor of the village of Dalton with 82% of the vote. She was the first black woman to be elected mayor in the history of the village. Tiffany was sworn in on May 8, 2021. On March 3, 2022, she was appointed as the supervisor of Thornton Township. Her combined salary was about $300,000 a year. Now moving to the timeline of the controversy. Many people became upset with Tiffany's performance as mayor. In December 2021, the Dalton Board of Trustees voted for a recall election to take place in June 2022. Tiffany lost this election. She was supposed to be removed from office. However, the election result was invalidated by Illinois courts on procedural grounds. Both before and after this recall attempt, Tiffany was accused of many different inappropriate actions. Here are just a few of them. Tiffany hired a former campaign worker as a code enforcement officer, despite the fact that he had been convicted of a horrible offense against a minor. In what appears to be a blatant effort to discourage someone from running against her, Tiffany successfully proposed a bill to cut the salary from her position to $25,000 a year if someone else defeated her in the next election to be held in 2025. If Tiffany is reelected, her salary would be unchanged. The mayor used taxpayer money to create personalized billboards in the village. They prominently featured her name and image, even though there was no reason they should. Tiffany and other officials have spent over $67,000 of taxpayer money for trips to Portland, Atlanta, Austin, and New York City. Some of these trips involved first-class airfare and high-end hotels. On one occasion, Tiffany spent over $3,700 for a round-trip first-class ticket to Las Vegas so that she and other officials could attend a shopping center conference. Tiffany has never explained why she needed to travel in a luxurious manner or how the trips were connected to Village of Dalton business. Tiffany has been accused of misusing the Dalton police force. She filmed a music video with police officers and assigned full-time officers to her personal security detail. They were originally assigned after some protests in 2021, but Tiffany never reassigned them even after the protests had ended. Tiffany has taken security with her on some of the trips away from Dalton and been accused of using officers to run errands. Her behavior has cost the village thousands of dollars in overtime and denied some police protection to the residents. Tiffany handpicked candidates for the Dalton Board of Trustees and allegedly claimed that they had endorsements from the Thornton Township Democratic Party. The party denies granting these endorsements. This makes it seem like Tiffany was trying to stack the board with people who would do her bidding. The former police chief of Dalton, Robert Collins, filed a lawsuit against the village claiming that Tiffany illegally fired him. Tiffany allegedly thought that Robert's wife was too friendly with people Tiffany considered to be political opponents. Robert argued that he was discriminated against based on marital status, and that Tiffany failed to secure the approval of the Village Board of Trustees before firing him. Tiffany allegedly authorized thousands of dollars for two ice rinks that were never approved by the Board of Trustees. One was named Just Ice in honor of Tiffany's daughter, Justice. Tiffany has been accused of transferring taxpayer money to a private foundation, which bears her name. The Illinois Attorney General has demanded financial reports for this charity and the FBI is investigating Tiffany's management of Thornton Township. In December of 2023, Tiffany was sued by several members of the Board of Trustees. 
They accused her of using checks without authorization, refusing to issue payments for invoices approved by the board, and restricting the access of certain financial information from the trustees. Some people believe that Tiffany is concealing evidence of alleged wrongdoing. Now moving to my analysis. Here are my thoughts on a few areas that stood out to me in this case. Item number one. Tiffany Henyard appears to be a big fan of herself. She has her own website where she refers to herself as the People's Super Mayor. She has also used this title in social media posts. On her website, Tiffany wrote about how, after she was elected as the mayor of Dalton, there was much fanfare during the swearing-in ceremony. It was attended by dignitaries from across the state of Illinois. Tiffany mentioned how she was the first black supervisor of Thornton Township. She wrote how this move sent shockwaves across the state of Illinois. Item number two, Tiffany is active on social media and has made several posts which can be described as grandiose, attention-seeking, tacky, creepy, and demonstrating a profound lack of insight. For example, she indicated that God chose her and she referred to herself as God's favorite. On Instagram, she declared that she was the most powerful woman in the Southland of Chicago. In one post, Tiffany was featured with a dog wearing jewelry. The expression on the dog's face appears to communicate, how was this woman elected mayor? In early January 2024, Tiffany accepted a community service award saying, quote, I am Martin Luther King, I am Rosa Parks, and I am Harriet Tubman, unquote. During a meeting later that same month, she said, quote, you all say Martin Luther King had a dream. Guess what? I am the dream. So now I need you guys to stand with me and help me. That's what I need, unquote. Item number three, most mayors would be discouraged by a recall election that occurred right after they ascended to the throne. But Tiffany only became more confident by this attempt to remove her from office. During the next board meeting after the failed recall, Tiffany played the disco song, Ain't No Stopping Us Now, and danced at the podium. On social media, she released an image of herself with the caption, Recall Null and Void. I am, and forever will be, Dalton's mayor. Item number four. During a meeting of the village trustees on February 5, 2024, Tiffany lashed out at the board. She said, quote, You all should be ashamed of yourselves because you all are black. You all are black. And you all sitting up here beating and attacking a black woman that's in power, you all should be ashamed of yourselves, unquote. Tiffany continued by proclaiming, quote, You all forgot I'm the leader. They want to hear from the mayor. You all ain't learned that yet. The mayor, not the trustees that don't do nothing. They only run their mouth. You all don't do no work, no work, unquote. In an apparent effort to explain some of the unfavorable characterizations in the media, Tiffany said, quote, Everything we do is for the people, but we're under attack. We get scrutinized by the media. For what? Loving on the people? Showing that they matter to us? We going through the fires for you all, unquote. Item number five, what do I think happened in this case? This is just a theory, my opinion. Tiffany has demonstrated characteristics like self-centeredness, grandiosity, shallowness, a sense of entitlement, a belief that she is special, arrogance, vindictiveness, impulsivity, sensation-seeking, fearlessness, boldness, irresponsibility, and a desire to be the center of attention. She believes her election to mayor signaled her transformation to royalty. She is now the undisputed leader of the kingdom of Dalton. Her authority must not be challenged. She will rule with an iron fist and crush her opponents. All the treasure in the kingdom now belongs to her. She deserves to spend money freely, travel in style, and to have a security detail despite it being completely unwarranted based on the risk factors. It would be more appropriate if the residents of Dalton had a security detail to protect them from Tiffany, not the other way around. Tiffany's mission is to transform her kingdom so that everything bears her likeness and people sing her praises in the streets. I wouldn't be surprised if she thought about printing money with her picture on it. Tiffany successfully changed the law so no one will want to run against her. The failed recall attempt only made her more confident that she can never be defeated. She truly believes that she is the never-ending super mayor who will laugh as the village residents burn 
in the eternal fire of her mismanagement. She will do anything to stay in power, including trying to make black members of the board feel guilty for allegedly betraying another black person. In reality, they are simply trying to hold the mayor accountable. Tiffany believes that comparing herself to famous black leaders will make others fearful to challenge her. Now moving to my final thoughts. Ultimately, I don't believe that things are going to work out too well for Tiffany. Her lack of insight is so profound that she has no idea how others perceive her. Her attempts to defend herself have only highlighted how she is comically incompetent and blatantly offensive. What lesson can be learned from this case? Tiffany has exposed a weakness in small-town politics. Why have people continued to give her awards? How did she pass a bill cutting the salary from her position if she lost the next election? Why would anyone vote for this? And how can the system be so broken that somebody this ineffective is seemingly unstoppable? The citizens of Dalton have been held hostage by their own voting behavior and must accept some responsibility for this disaster. Similarly, those who tolerate her continued leadership are culpable. This is one super mayor for which citizens have not found or do not want to find the corresponding kryptonite. Those are my thoughts in the case of Tiffany Henyard. Please put any opinions and thoughts in the comment section. They always generate an interesting dialogue. As always, I hope you found my analysis of this topic to be informative. Thanks for watching.